welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new here. I have a super fun video for you today. We are going to be making smoothies. Lots and lots of smoothie ideas coming your way. I have so many great recipes and every single one of them were absolutely phenomenal. So good, nice, whole food, clean ingredients. I can't wait to share them with you. So without further ado, let's jump into this clean eating WW smoothie video. On the run from my given disaster Speed away from the holy mind So for today's smoothie, we are going to make a non-milk based or yogurt based smoothie. This one is actually one of my very favorites. So let me show you what's in today's smoothie. First, you'll need some frozen berries. I generally use organic. I have these in my freezer, so I am going to go ahead and use them up, but I highly recommend that you go with a organic frozen berry. You also need some organic apple juice. You can use other juices, but apple juice, I think tastes the best in this smoothie. You can either put in chia seeds or flax seed, whatever you have on hand. Just a little bit gives you that added boost of goodness in your smoothie. I'm also going to be adding in some collagen peptides. You guys know I use this in my coffee, but I'm gonna add it to my smoothie as well because it really is a great way to get in that little bit of extra collagen. And these collagen peptides are linked in my Amazon store below. You'll need some organic spinach. Always, always add greens to a fruit smoothie. It's a great way to get in extra greens without even noticing that they're in there. And then you're also going to want about a half of a fresh or frozen banana. So let's put together today's smoothie. All right, let's put together today's smoothie. So first thing I'm going to do is add one third of a cup of my apple juice. Make sure if you do get the organic that you shake it up really well because a lot of the good stuff kind of floats to the bottom in the organic juice. And then we are going to go ahead and add in one tablespoon of chia seeds. So I went ahead and just got one tablespoon. I'm going to throw that right in there. And then we're also going to add a scoop of our collagen peptides. So just make sure you get a nice even level scoop. You can even do two scoops if you'd like, but I had one scoop in my coffee this morning. So I'm going to add just one additional scoop. And then we're going to go ahead and add in some frozen berries and make sure that you're not doing too much frozen fruit because you want the ratio of frozen fruit and liquid to be pretty close. So just a little bit of frozen berries. And then we're going to put in some banana. Mine are actually frozen. You want about a half of a frozen banana. So I'm just going to go ahead and throw in that one piece and then last but certainly not least we're gonna throw in some of our spinach and again this is a great way to get in some extra greens you won't be able to taste it in the recipe I promise so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw some greens in there and then we are ready to blend this deliciousness up and there you have your smoothie. Now, if you end up having your smoothie be a bit too thick, you can go ahead and add in a little bit of water. Just don't add any extra apple juice because that's going to pump up the points, but just a little bit of water to help blend it. So let me get this into a glass and let's look at today's smoothie. All right, so here is my smoothie, you guys. This is phenomenal it is so incredibly delicious you can feel the texture of the chia seeds but it adds a nice texture to the smoothie so this smoothie is going to be two smart points for the apple juice and one smart point for the chia seeds i do not count points for blended fruit as i've mentioned so this is a three smart point smoothie and it's full of all good clean ingredients For today's smoothie, we are going to be making a kale avocado smoothie. Don't run and turn off this video. This actually is delicious, you guys, and it's a great way to get in leafy greens, good quality fat if you struggle with those on WW, and the points are great. So let me show you what is in today's smoothie. 
First, you're going to need some sort of a white bean. I'm gonna be using the Great Northern Beans. It's a white bean. I love them, they're delicious. You'll also need a half of a banana, some avocado, mango chunks. I just have this Super Truth organic mango chunks. You'll need one half of a cup of water and of course some kale. So let's get started on today's smoothie. All right guys, let's make today's smoothie. So again, I'm making it in my magic bullet. I will link this down below for you guys. And here's what we're putting in. First, we have one half of a cup of water. So we're gonna go ahead and add that first. That way all of our stuff doesn't stick to the bottom of our smoothie cup. I have one half of a cup of my frozen mango chunks. I have one half of a banana. Might actually break that up. There we go. And then I have a quarter of an avocado. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. And I rinsed and drained the beans and I have two tablespoons here. I know it sounds weird, you guys, but these beans have a very mild flavor. So it should be really good in this smoothie. And then we need an entire leaf of kale. So I'm just going to break this up, shove it here in my glass, and then we are ready to get our smoothie blending. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the base on. This is what it looks like before it goes into the blender. And let's blend it up. All right, look at that, yum, that looks delicious. So I have a glass here, let me show you guys the smoothie kind of close up here, oh my gosh. Ooh, it smells really good. So there's kind of what it looks like. Let's put it in our glass. Ooh, it even made extra. Mm. Oh, that's good. So you can taste, you can taste the mango mainly in the banana. It makes it kind of sweet. You can taste the beans a little bit, but it's really, really, really delicious. So let me get this put together and I'll be back to give you the points. So here it is, you guys, it's actually really, really delicious. I just put it in a nice glass with a reusable straw. It's actually really yummy. And if you don't count the blended fruit, which I do not, this is a three smart point smoothie. You're getting kale, you're getting fruit, beans for that extra protein. You can't beat it. So three smart points for a kale avocado smoothie. For today's smoothie, I am going to be making a tropical avocado smoothie. I'm so excited for this. So let me show you what is in our smoothie. First, you're going to need some milk of your choice. I'm just gonna be using this organic non-fat milk some Greek yogurt. I prefer whole milk, but I'm using up what I have, which is the 0%. A packet of sweetener. Highly recommend Whole Earth or a different one other than this one, but this is what I have on hand. A small or medium avocado. And then for my fruit, I'm gonna be using this Smoothie Singles from Wawana Organics. I did pick this up at Costco. So this is peaches, pineapple, strawberries, grapes, and passion fruit. This is what the little bag looks like. Sometimes I'll use half a bag, sometimes I'll use a full bag. Today I'm gonna to be doing the full bag. So let's make this delicious smoothie. So we're ready to make today's smoothie. So in my cup here, I have about a half of a cup of the non-fat Greek yogurt. To that, I'm going to add one quarter cup of my fat-free milk, and you can use almond milk or a milk alternative if you would like. I'm also going to add in my little bag of my smoothie, and it's gonna be a lot of fruit, so I'm gonna have to kind of push this down in here. This is also going to serve as the ice. So when I fill it really full like this, I'll do a preliminary blend before I add in my avocado and my sweetener. Once I've done a quick preliminary blend, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my avocado, and I'm also going to add in about half of my sweetener packet, and then we are going to give it another blend. You can always add some water or liquid if you feel like your smoothie base is too thick. I always will kind of give it a good shake up too before I blend it, and that seems to really help. So I ended up giving it a couple more good shakes and also added a little bit of water. And now I have a consistently delicious consistency of a smoothie. Look at that, yum. So let me get this in a glass and I'll be back to let you know how it tastes and show you the completed smoothie. All right, so excuse my appearance. I want to give you guys kind of a taste test. Look at this. Oh, 
Yum. So let's try it. I want to see if I can taste avocado and Greek yogurt because neither of those I want to taste. Oh my goodness. Oh, wow. So zero avocado, little bit of the tang of the Greek yogurt, but there's the sweetener and the fruit. Oh my goodness. Mmm. This is delicious, you guys. Delicious. So here is what it looks like, you guys. It's so incredibly good. Look at that, yum. So you're getting some really yummy, healthy fats in there from the avocado. So let me tell you what the smart points are. So if you do not count blended fruit, which I do not, this is four smart points. That's it. The only thing in here that has points is the avocado in the milk. So you can't beat that. If you do count blended fruit, this is going to be seven smart points and that is on all plans, but I can't wait to drink this. It's a great way to get in some healthy fats and it is so good. For today's smoothie, I'm gonna be making an almond berry or an almond acai smoothie. You can really use any frozen fruit, but let me show you what's in our smoothie. I'm going to be using my Forager organic dairy-free cashew milk. You could use this almond milk, fat-free milk, whatever your preference is. You'll also need some nut butter of some sort, whether that be almond, peanut, or this mixed nut butter. I'm going to be using the organic acai packets from Trader Joe's. All that is in this is fruit, so no added sugar. So I count this as zero points. And then also a fresh banana. And then you can use water if needed to thin out your smoothie. So let's make this smoothie. All right, so the first thing I did is measured out one tablespoon of nut butter. Again, this is the nut butter that I'm using. I just measured it out on my food scale. To that, I'm going to go ahead and add my banana. Now you can use a frozen or a fresh banana, whatever your preference is. You may just have to use water if you use a frozen to thin it out a little bit. And then this is what the acai packets from Trader Joe's look like. And I am just going to cut the top here. I did let it defrost just a little tiny bit, but this is what's gonna serve as the ice, so I didn't want it totally defrosted. Hmm, nice, Jen. All right, so then we're gonna go ahead and add that in, oh, yum, to our blender cup. And remember, all that's in here is acai, which is a really good super fruit. So that's kind of what that looks like. And then lastly, one half of a cup of whatever milk or dairy-free milk that you want to use. And then we'll blend this. And if we need to add additional ice or water, we can certainly do that. So go ahead and add your milk. And then let's blend this smoothie. All right, go ahead and give it a shake. You wanna make sure you're getting all your nut butter off the bottom and then blend it again until you don't hear any more ice cubes. All right, it is done. It looks delicious. Look at that beautiful purple coloring. So let's add it here to a glass. Oh, yum. I went ahead and added a couple of ice cubes just to make mine a little bit thicker. So let's get a straw and see how this is. So here is our smoothie. Look at how nice and thick that is. So yum, very good for you smoothie with the nut butter and the acai. If you do not count blended fruit, this is going to be three smart points. So this is my three smart point smoothie. Today's smoothie I'm going to be making a blueberry oatmeal smoothie I'm so excited for this let me show you what's in our smoothie first you're going to need some rolled oats I have these organic from the thrive market you guys I love thrive I showed you this in my what I eat in a day I'm gonna link it down below for you guys but you have to join it's such a great online shopping tool they have everything and anything you could ever imagine that's organic and good for you including household items pet items it's such a fabulous website and it's free shipping with your membership so I'll link that information down below for you guys and then I'm using my forager cashew milk we're gonna use some raw honey. And for my yogurt, I've decided to use the Siggy's 4% Mixed Berry. I'm actually going to split this smoothie with my husband. So we're gonna use this for yogurt. And then, of course, you'll need some frozen blueberries. So let's make a smoothie. 
All right, for today's smoothie, I have my magic bullet cup here. To that, I'm gonna go ahead and add one cup of my frozen blueberries. You can use fresh as well. Frozen is just better because it also serves as the ice for your smoothie as well, so you don't have to add additional ice cubes. I'm also going to add my entire container of my Siggy's yogurt. And again, I'm making two smoothies because this one is a little bit higher in points because you're using the full fat yogurt and real honey and oats. So I'm gonna divide it and make two smoothies out of it. And I'll show you guys what it looks like as a single serve and a double serve and give you the points for both as well. So go ahead and add in your yogurt. And then we're also going to add one teaspoon of honey. So I'm just going to get about a teaspoon out of my honey here and add that. Oh, I love this raw honey. And then we're gonna add one half of a cup of the cashew milk. If we need any other liquid, I'm going to do water and that's going to help save on some points as well. And then one quarter cup of the organic rolled oats. And then we're gonna pop our lid on and get it blending. All right, we're blended. Take a look at this. This looks so good. It smells really, really good. So if you were going to drink the entire smoothie yourself, this would be the one serving. But like I mentioned, I'm gonna go ahead and divide it out between two cups for my husband and myself to get as equal as an amount as I can here. And then I'll show you guys what the completed smoothie looks like and give you all the smart points. So here it is. This looks really good. So it's a little over half of my small cup per serving. So I'm going to taste test this for you guys, tell you what I think. But this is a really hearty, delicious whole food smoothie. So let's give it a try. All right, guys. So I'm going to try this. So again, here it is. Oh, that's really good. So I taste the oats, but they're definitely ground up into like a liquid form. But the sweetness of the blueberries and the honey, it's really, really, really delicious. Mmm. Mmm. So if you drink the entire smoothie, it's seven smart points. If you only have half like I did, it's three. So whether you want to spend the seven points or the three points, but it's really good. Today's smoothie, we are going to be making a clean eating chocolate raspberry smoothie. I'm so excited for this, you guys. So let me show you what's in our smoothie. First, you're going to need some protein powder. Uh, this is my new find, and this is the vanilla Let's Make It Less Naked Way protein powder. It has 25 grams of protein, five grams of sugar, eight carbs, and only 150 calories. And what's great about this protein powder is the ingredients. It has extremely clean ingredients, which makes it a great option. It even has coconut sugar. So this Less Naked Way, I purchased this off of Amazon. I'll link it down below for you guys. It's a great clean eating protein powder. I'm out of my Devotion Angel Food Cake, so I wanted to try this. This is three smart points per scoop versus one smart point for the Angel Food Cake from Devotion. So just kind of a heads up, but I'll link it down below for you guys. Also, you'll need some almond milk or cashew milk. I'm going to use my favorite forager cashew milk, some cacao nibs, cocoa powder, frozen spinach, frozen bananas, frozen raspberries, and of course, just some filtered water. So let's get started on our smoothie. All right, so for our smoothie, I added my half a cup of water directly into my magic bullet little cup here. To that, I'm going to add about a cup of raspberries. I'm not going to measure those out. I'm just going to add about a cup, maybe even a little bit less than a cup. And then I have half of a frozen banana here. I used the other half in a previous smoothie recipe. So I'm going to add that. And then I'm going to add my cashew milk. So I want about a cup or even a little bit less than a cup of that. You don't want too much liquid versus frozen fruit. So I kind of add liquid as needed when I'm making a smoothie. And then I'm going to add in some frozen spinach. I probably will not use this whole bag because the recipe called for a quarter of a cup. So that looks like it's about a quarter of a cup. And then I have one half of a scoop of my protein powder. 
And lastly, I wanna do about a tablespoon of cocoa powder. So this is just the Trader Joe's. And then I am going to add just the tiniest bit more liquid just to make sure it blends nicely. And then we're gonna pop our lid on and get this blended up. So here is what my smoothie looks like so far. I decided I am going to go ahead and add the last of the spinach because a little extra greens never hurts in a smoothie. So there isn't much left here in my little baggie. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the rest of my spinach, give this another quick blend up and then our smoothie is done. We'll add some cacao nibs. I can't wait to try this. You guys, who doesn't love chocolate and raspberry? All right, so here it is. This looks so good, you guys. So what I'm going to do is just take some cacao nibs here, and I'm just going to toss just a couple on top. That was way too much. And then I'm going to pop in a straw, and let's give this smoothie a taste test. Look at that. Oh, yum. All right, so we're going to give this a try. So this is the clean eating chocolate raspberry with extra spinach. Oh, my gosh. Mm. this is so good it tastes like a milkshake and i think by adding in the protein powder is where we're getting that more like milkshake taste to it it's so good you guys mm. so you absolutely cannot taste the spinach so if you're worried about being able to taste greens you can't taste it at all it's so good so good. So the entire smoothie is four smart points and that's using the protein powder that I use. If you use the devotion or a lower point protein powder, then you can get it down to three points. So not bad at all for a smoothie. Great meal replacement because you have the milk and the raspberries and spinach. Oh, mm -mm -mm. thank you for joining me on this amazing, fun, little bit different video, all things smoothies. I'm telling you, you wouldn't think some of these ingredients would go in smoothies, but they were absolutely positively delicious. Every single one of them. My husband loved them all. Even the ones with beans and avocados, he had no idea. So I hope you enjoyed seeing some really good point friendly, clean eating smoothie recipes. I will link them all down in the description box below. So if you're new, welcome, welcome. Make sure you're subscribed and your bell notification is turned on. That way you're not missing a single video. Give this video a thumbs up if you really liked having some smoothie recipes come your way because I can certainly do a second video with more smoothie recipes and maybe some smoothie bowls. Let me guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below if you'd like to see some more smoothie recipes and even some smoothie bowls. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Check out the description box for all of the recipes, discount codes, and the link to join my Facebook group. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.